He is very responsible for my career. You know what? I've been missing you, baby. I've been missing you too. Miss you. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we sing? Welcome back to our channel. Today, let's explore more about the life of Smokey Robinson. Smokey Robinson, an icon whose melodies have resonated through the halls of Motown and in countless homes for generations. Beneath the harmonious tunes and striking image, there lies a seldom told story, a journey marked by both triumphs and trials, far removed from the spotlight's glare. Today we peel back the curtain to reveal the untold narrative of an 80-year-old Smokey Robinson, uncovering surprising facts and struggles that the artist himself has rarely shared. From the vibrant peaks of joy to the darker valleys of adversity, Smokey Robinson's tale spans over eight incredible decades. What has transpired in Smokey Robinson's life? Everything is revealed in this video, let's follow along. In the heart of Detroit, Michigan, within the North End area, where life was fraught with hardship and family struggled to survive, William Robinson Jr. was born into a family with a richly diverse heritage. His family was a vibrant tapestry, interwoven with threads of African American, French, Nigerian, Scandinavian, Portuguese, and Cherokee origins, each strand representing a unique facet of his identity. Among these, one figure stood out prominently. Uncle Claude. He was more than just a family member to William. He was a guiding light. It was Uncle Claude who affectionately bestowed upon him the nickname Smokey Joe, a name that would remain intimately connected with William throughout his life. This nickname was not merely a label. It represented a deep bond, rooted in their shared love for cowboy films, a simple pleasure that brought them closer together during Smokey's formative years. As Smokey grew up, his passion for music began to eclipse all his other achievements and interests. Even though he did well in school and was active in sports at Northern High School, it was music that truly captured his heart. He dove into the world of doo-wop music and formed a group called The Five Chimes, which was the start of his journey into the music world. Smokey lived very close to the young Aretha Franklin on Belmont Street, he knew the future Queen of Soul from when they were both very young. He often heard her play the piano when he visited her older brother, Cecil, at their home in Detroit. These moments combined with the music of Nolan Strong and the Diablos, and Billy Ward and his dominoes playing on the radio, deeply inspired Smokey. Another Detroit musician, Barrett Strong, also had a significant influence on Smokey, shaping his musical style. This rich tapestry of musical influences and personal connections was instrumental in developing Smokey's passion for music. In 1955, with encouragement from childhood friend Ronald White and fellow schoolmate Pete Moore, Smokey laid down the groundwork for the five chimes, embarking on what would become a legendary journey into the world of music. This period of his life was not just a prelude to his later fame, but a foundational era that deeply influenced his path in the music industry. In Detroit's electrifying music scene, a fledgling group named The Five Chimes was just beginning to make its mark. By 1957, amidst a period of transformation, Smokey Robinson and his ensemble faced a critical juncture. A discouraging audition for Brunswick Records could have spelled the end of their aspirations, but fate had other plans. This apparent setback serendipitously led them to Barry Gordy, a meeting that would pivot their path towards stardom. Reflecting on these early challenges, Smokey once said, the road to success is always under construction. It's a process that's never finished. Gordy was not only impressed by Smokey's vocal prowess, but was also deeply moved by the soulful eloquence of his songwriting encapsulated within a notebook brimming with songs from his high school days. Under Gordy's guidance, the group, now christened The Miracles, embarked on their musical journey. Their debut record, Got a Job, was an assertive retort to the silhouette's Get a Job, mirroring a spirit of indefatigable optimism. This was the genesis of a fruitful collaboration that would soon delve into the music industry's core. In the aftermath of this defining moment, 
the band solidified its identity. With the addition of Marv Tarplin's enchanting guitar skills and Bobby Rogers in 1958, the group now known as The Matadors, not only expanded its musical range, but also strengthened its personal connections. Bobby's sister, Claudette Rogers, would later become Smokey's wife, intertwining their fates further. The Matadors refined their craft in Detroit, earning acclaim and carving a niche within the bustling music landscape. The Matadors' evolution culminated in their emergence as the Miracles, a transformation that heralded the dawn of a historic musical epoch. They were destined to leave an indelible mark on music history, crafting timeless hits that would echo across generations. Smokey mused, Music is like a mirror in front of you. It's a reflection of who you are at that moment in life. Amid these developments, Smokey attempted to balance his burgeoning music career with academic pursuits, enrolling in college in January 1959 to study electrical engineering. However, the magnetic pull of music was irresistible. By March, the Miracles had released their first record, prompting Smokey to abandon his academic endeavors. Barry Gordy, the visionary founder of Tamla Records' later Motown, was instrumental in shaping the Miracles' career. By the end of 1960, they had released Shop Around, a track that won the hearts of many and secured Motown's first million-selling hit. Between 1960 and 1970, Smokey Robinson, as lead singer, chief songwriter, and producer, led the Miracles to achieve 26 top 40 hits, each a testament to the profound emotions and longing inherent in their music. Reflecting on his enduring legacy, Smokey affirmed, I've come to realize that each day has something to offer about learning and growing. That's what life is all about. As Motown embarked on a new chapter with the arrival of songwriting powerhouses Holland, Dozier Holland, and the formidable duo of Norman Whitfield and Barrett Strong, the label's landscape underwent a profound transformation. Smokey Robinson, once perched at the pinnacle of Motown's creative echelons, saw his prominence begin to wane, his once celebrated role as a key songwriter and producer diminishing amidst the label's evolution. The Motown Collective, Smokey's former bastion of innovation, now vibrated with the fresh sounds of Marvin Gaye and the prodigious Stevie Wonder, artists whose raw, heartfelt expressions began to eclipse the songs Smokey had passionately crafted. His fountain of creativity, once seemingly inexhaustible, started to dwindle. During this period of transition, Smokey channeled his creative energies into composing for other artists, leaving his indelible mark on tracks for The Contours, The Four Tops, and The Supremes. Despite the shift in his role at Motown, Smokey remained a pivotal figure in the music scene, working closely with fellow miracles, especially Pete Moore, on numerous projects. By 1969, the weight of fame and relentless touring began to exact its toll, kindling within Smokey, a yearning for a respite focused on family life. Yet the enduring success of Tears of a Clown anchored him to the stage longer than he anticipated, a sweet yet somber reminder of his profound impact on music. In July 1972, Smokey Robinson bade farewell to the miracles and the stage in Washington, D.C., closing a chapter that had been integral to his identity. Reflecting on this momentous decision, Smokey shared, there comes a time when the road ahead beckons more brightly than the road behind. That moment was mine to embrace. This farewell was not just an end, but a poignant departure from a collaborative journey that had enriched his life and career. 1973 heralded the beginning of Smokey's solo career with the release of his album, Smokey. This work paid homage to his past while charting a new course for his future, blending soulful tributes to the miracles with introspective tracks like Baby Come Close. Smokey mused, music has always been my speaking heart. This album is my voice at a crossroads, a blend of memories and aspirations. Smokey wasn't merely an album. It was Smokey Robinson's proclamation of resilience and adaptability as an artist. Embracing his solo journey, he continued to etch his narrative into Motown's legacy, 
demonstrating that, although formats change, his capacity to capture the essence of human emotion through music endures. This transition into solo artistry underscored Smokey's undiminished passion for music and his commitment to exploring new creative vistas, guided by his singular vision and artistic integrity. In 1974, Smokey Robinson released his second solo album, Pure Smokey, yet it struggled to reinvigorate his career during a time when the music industry was rapidly evolving. Icons like Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, and Eddie Kendricks were dominating the charts, leaving Smokey's work to languish in relative obscurity. Despite this, the unique charm of Smokey's music had not been forgotten. In 1976, George Harrison of the Beatles fame paid homage to him with a track titled Pure Smokey on his album 33 and 1 to 3, underscoring the lasting influence of Robinson's soulful ballads. The Beatles themselves had previously covered Smokey's You Really Got a Hold on Me, a nod to his profound impact on their music. Seeking to silence his detractors, Smokey returned in 1975 with A Quiet Storm, an album that showcased his depth and struggle. It spawned singles like Baby That's Bacacha and The Agony and The Ecstasy and inspired the Quiet Storm radio format, proving Smokey's enduring mark on music. Yet his solo efforts remained overshadowed by his executive role at Motown, a poignant irony for an artist once synonymous with the label's success. The subsequent years saw Smokey's visibility wane further, with albums such as Smokey's Family Robinson and Deep In My Soul suffering from poor promotion and lukewarm receptions. A reliance on external writers and producers marked a departure from his heyday's creative brilliance, leaving his music to echo a bygone era. However, amidst this creative drought, a spark of inspiration emerged. Marv Tarplin, a close collaborator, offered a melody in 1973 that reignited Smokey's artistry, leading to cruising a track that climbed to the top of the charts, showcasing the timeless appeal of Smokey's voice. Warm thoughts followed, featuring the tender, Let Me Be The Clock, though it didn't mirror Cruzine's success. 1981, marked a resurgence for Robinson with Being With You, a sensual ballad that soared to the top of the charts, becoming his most successful single internationally. This brief revival highlighted Smokey's ability to capture the collective heart and soul, offering a reprieve from his previous challenges and reaffirming his status as a musical luminary. In 1983, Smokey Robinson collaborated with Rick James to produce Ebony Eyes, a soulful R&B duet that captivated listeners, becoming a standout track on an album that reached significant sales. Reflecting on the collaboration, Smokey noted, Working with Rick was a fusion of our musical souls. Ebony Eyes was the result of that beautiful collision. That same year, across the Atlantic, ABC's When Smokey Sings paid homage to his enduring influence, a tribute Smokey found deeply moving. To see my work inspire artists globally is the highest form of flattery. The late 80s and 90s presented a complex period for Smokey. Marked by his 1988 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction, as a solo artist, a moment of personal pride tinged with the sadness of the miracle's initial exclusion. Being recognized by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was bittersweet. My journey was intertwined with the miracles, and their omission felt like a part of our story was overlooked, Smokey expressed. The 2012 induction of the miracles rectified this oversight, a moment Smokey described as a healing chapter for us all. Post Motown's acquisition by MCA, Smokey ventured into new musical territories, later reconnecting with Motown for the intimate album release. His spiritual exploration led to the 2004 album Food for the Spirit, about which he said, This project was my heart speaking through faith, a testament to the power of music in healing and uplifting the spirit. Through his work in the 2000s, including Timeless Love and Time Flies When You're Having Fun, Smokey remained connected to his roots while also exploring new sounds. The success of Smokey and Friends in 2014 and the warm reception of Christmas Every Day in 2017 underscored his versatility, 
and the timeless nature of his music. Every project is a new journey. Smokey and Friends was about sharing that journey with fellow artists, and Christmas Every Day was about capturing the essence of the season. He remarked, the collaboration with Anderson Pack in 2019 and the announcement of his 2023 album Gasms signified Smokey's eagerness to bridge musical generations and continue evolving. Music has no expiration date. Working with Anderson and releasing Gasms is about pushing boundaries and embracing the new while honoring the past, Smokey reflected. Through every phase of his career, Smokey Robinson has navigated the highs and lows with grace, continually proving his resilience and ability to innovate. Every note I sing, every word I write, is a piece of my story, he says, looking back on a journey filled with soulful explorations and musical milestones. Smokey Robinson's life journey mirrored the intricate melodies of his music, rich in love, shadowed by loss, and resonating with the enduring echoes of time. In 1959, he married Claudette Rogers, a fellow member of the Miracles, weaving their lives together in a harmony of personal and professional unity. Their family grew with the arrival of two children, their son, Barry Robinson, in 1968, named in homage to Motown's founder, Barry Gordy, and their daughter, Tamla Robinson. In 1971, her name a nod to the original Tamla label that Gordy transformed into Motown. However, the harmony of their union faced its discord. Smokey's own confessions revealed affairs with several women during his marriage to Claudette, including a notably turbulent yet brief relationship with Diana Ross. This affair, characterized more by its ending due to Ross's discomfort rather than its passionate beginnings, added a layer of complexity to their story. Ross, being a friend of Claudette, made this revelation even more poignant. Despite these challenges, the essence of love persisted, albeit intertwined with pain, leaving a lasting imprint on their lives. Amid the upheavals of his marriage, Smokey fathered another child, a son named Trey, in 1984, with another woman. This act further strained his relationship with Claudette, eventually leading to their separation and culminating in a divorce in 1986. Their tumultuous relationship, marked by periods of separation and affairs, inspired Smokey's music, notably the song The Agony and the Ecstasy from his album A Quiet Storm, reflecting the bittersweet chapters of their shared life. In May 2002, Smokey Robinson found love again and married Francis Gladney. Together they settled in Pittsburgh, where they indulged in their shared passion for winemaking, seeking a serene and fulfilling chapter in the later stages of their lives. Beyond his personal narratives, Smokey's lifestyle choices, including abstaining from red meat since 1972 and practicing transcendental meditation, spoke volumes of his quest for a healthier and more balanced life amidst the tempests of his past. Throughout his remarkable career, Smokey Robinson has garnered a series of prestigious accolades, reflecting his profound influence on the music industry. These honors not only recognize his singular talent, but also commemorate his significant contributions to the Motown legacy and the wider musical sphere. A pinnacle of Smokey's career achievements was his 1988 induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a solo artist. This honor served as a powerful testament to his pioneering contributions to the Motown sound and his lasting impact on successive generations of musicians. The award celebrated his multifaceted roles as a singer, songwriter, and producer, emphasizing the extensive reach of his influence within the rock and roll genre. Beyond this notable recognition, Smokey Robinson has received a multitude of awards that underscore his diverse contributions to music. The Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award stands out among these, celebrating his persistent influence and exceptional contributions to the music industry. This award is particularly meaningful as it acknowledges a career marked by continual innovation and musical excellence. Robinson's exceptional songwriting talents have been honored with induction into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. This accolade shines a light on his adeptness at crafting timeless music that has become integral to the American musical canon. 
His skill in expressing complex emotions through straightforward, poignant lyrics has secured his place among the pantheon of great songwriters. Additionally, the Gershwin Prize for Popular Song by the Library of Congress highlights Smokey's enduring contributions to popular music. This prestigious award recognizes a lifetime of achievements in music composition and performance, affirming Smokey's significant role in shaping the American musical narrative with his soulful melodies and evocative lyrics. The BET Lifetime Achievement Award further solidifies Smokey Robinson's iconic status within the music world, celebrating his pioneering role in the Motown era and his continued influence on contemporary music. Together, these accolades not only honor Smokey Robinson's historical achievements, but also underscore his ongoing relevance and impact in the music industry. Beyond the awards and official recognitions, Smokey Robinson's true legacy is encapsulated in his capacity to resonate with the human soul through his music. His songs, which explore universal themes of love, loss, and longing, have inspired countless artists, bridging the gap between Motown's rich history and the evolving landscape of modern music. Through his collaborative efforts, mentorship, and unwavering creative output, Smokey has ensured that his musical legacy remains both timeless and continuously refreshed. As he navigates the ever-evolving music industry, Smokey Robinson's career stands as a guiding light for artists grappling with the complexities of musical innovation. His resilience, pioneering spirit, and soulful essence have firmly established him as a legendary figure in music, promising that his influence will endure for future generations. In Smokey's own words, every note I sing, every word I write, is a piece of my story, encapsulating a musical journey characterized by heartfelt explorations, significant milestones, and a perpetual passion for the art of songwriting. Smokey Robinson's life and career epitomize a remarkable journey through the heart of Motown to an enduring legacy in the music industry. His profound influence stretches beyond his soulful melodies and poignant lyrics, reaching into the fabric of American music culture. Smokey's role as a pioneer of the Motown sound, coupled with his innovative songwriting, has solidified his status as a musical legend. Beyond his contributions to music, Smokey's dedication to social causes and nurturing new talent showcases a depth of character that complements his artistic achievements. His story is not just one of musical success, but also of resilience, innovation, and a deep-seated commitment to giving back, making him a true inspiration. What are your thoughts on Smokey Robinson's life and career? Let's write your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on stories that inspire and entertain. Thank you for watching. See you soon in our next video. Goodbye.